The operations presented in this video are meant to be instructional to ensure quality construction. This video is not intended to provide a comprehensive overview of safety procedures. All parties should ensure that they are familiar with and follow all safety requirements, policies, and procedures that apply to their specific operation. Prior to concrete placement, review all the required documents to verify the correct mix design was sent for the project. PennDOT specifies four documents to be on hand. 1. An approved quality control plan, or QC plan, which should be on the CS-704 form. The QC plan includes the minimal information required to assure that the concrete placement is completed per PennDOT specifications and that the work is performed as agreed upon by all parties involved. This is an example of a typical first and second page of a QC plan. 2. An approved job mix formula, or JMF. The JMF is the mix design. The documentation is multiple pages of computations, which are recorded on the TR-4221A form. Please note that a PennDOT project will typically only receive the first page of the JMF. When reviewing the JMF, remember that all mix designs are based on one cubic yard of concrete produced. 3. An approved batcher mixer slip, which will be on a CS-4220 form. Like the JMF, a batcher mixer slip represents weights of materials that when mixed together produce one cubic yard of concrete. And finally, a concrete delivery ticket, which must be provided with each load of concrete delivered to the project. The delivery ticket can come in many different formats. Some plants send two tickets for each load, including both a sales ticket and a ticket with the weights of the materials incorporated in the mix. Review all documentation from the supplier to verify that all required information is provided for each load of concrete. Per PennDOT specifications, all shipments are required to provide the same minimum amount of information per load of concrete. Looking at the delivery ticket example, review these minimum requirements. A contract number, state project number, or purchase order number. The concrete plant supplier code, which is specific to that plant. Method of concrete mixing, which can be truck mix or central mix. The class of concrete shipped for the load. The JMF number with the step-down mix number used. The reference step-down reflects to a reduction in the water-cement ratio from the original mix design or trial mix. The number of cubic yards shipped in the load. The time of completion of mixing the load. The truck number. The number of mixing revolutions, if applicable. This is sometimes handwritten on the tickets. The total amount of batch water used in each truck in pounds. The total weight of the cementitious materials used in this load in pounds. The types of additives used in each truck, such as water reducer, air entrainment, retarder, or any other admixture types. Note. You will also typically see a handwritten note as shown here for the total amount of washdown water used for each truck. This is the estimated amount of water used to clean the chutes and fins after loading the concrete delivery trucks. The note of this water amount is required to compute the water cement ratio. However, these computations will not be covered in this video. To confirm that the correct mix design was received, cross check all four documents with each other. This document comparison can be done in any order. For example, assume there is a placement of AA concrete to be done. Start with a cross-check of the approved quality control plan to the approved JMF. This review may be done prior to the concrete delivery itself, since the contractor will have already submitted these two documents to the project inspection staff. As you can see, both documents note the use of the JMF number 555. Both also note that the concrete was shipped from the approved supplier indicated by the RMC 02A42 code as per the QC plan. Therefore, this checks out. Now look at the two documents that should accompany the first truck, which are the delivery ticket and the batcher mixer slip. Both documents should indicate the same mix design that was just confirmed. The delivery ticket and batcher mixer slip do show that the producer shipped the JMF number 555AA mix. 
These two documents also show the step down being used for the placement. In this case, step down 1 is being used, as indicated by the hyphen 1 or 01 shown after the 555. This also checks out. For the remainder of the placement, all delivery tickets should have the same mix information just confirmed. Something else to remember, after the start of concrete placement, a new batch or mixer slip may be received. PennDOT requires the supplier to check the moisture content of the aggregates at the concrete plant prior to the first shipment and at a minimum of every four hours and adjust the mix accordingly. Because of this, a new batch or mixer slip may be sent out from the supplier to the placement at any time. If a new batch or mixer slip is received, go through the cross-check process again to ensure the correct mix design is still being shipped. Note that if anything does not match during the cross-checks, notify the on-site technician and foreman immediately. All stakeholders involved in the job need to be on the same page and communicate to get the final product that everyone desires. Thank you to the following contractors for their cooperation. Kuhn Industries, LLC, part of the Center Concrete family, Fabcore Incorporated, and Masters Concrete.